Hi, everybody. This is Ted, and I am already in the lab for today's experiment. Guess what? Today we are going to talk about... technical difficulties. Hello there. My name is Carl. I am the director of Lessons in Forensic Chemistry. I will be filling in for Ted for the rest of today's video. Uh, many different elements and very simple compounds are used in the manufacturing of explosives, such as nitrates, sulfur, and fuel oil. Forensic scientists must be very careful when working around explosives. Flammable chemicals burn easily and quickly. Most are not considered explosive. Explosives are materials with the potential to suddenly release lots of pressure, sound, light, and heat. Fireworks fall in the category of low explosives. Gunpowders are also considered low explosives. Explosives that are submitted to the forensic laboratory must be identified. To do this, the materials are characterized with multiple instruments. Raman is one technique that may be used to identify explosive compounds. Microscopes may be used to image the samples, because explosives may be molded into different shapes depending on the production process and thus it can be very informative to look at the explosives to identify who produced them. Once the explosive materials are analyzed and identified, the forensic scientist will write a report on their findings. They may also be required to testify in court. This concludes today's lesson. On a more personal note, we do want to extend our thanks to all of our followers out there, and we also hope to be able to see Ted back with us in the lab real soon. Good night, everyone.